<laughs> Look, it literally looks like that looks like five. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping here for the first time, welcome. Uh, today, I mean, we're doing something kind of crazy, but uh, a while ago, I made a video on night shading your tail lights, and it's a cheap mod. The can's about 15 bucks, so it really changes the look of your truck. Now, there's another thing that changes the look of your car or truck, and that is window tint. Like, everyone asks me all the time, well, how did you learn how to tint? What did you do? All that stuff. And it's actually a skill. I mean, it takes time and whatever to learn. However, what if we can take out the skill part of all of this and make it something that everyone can do? And that's painting. Spray painting, nonetheless. Are we able to use nightshade as window tint? We're gonna find out today. Uh, let's get inside and uh, get this process started. So guys, this one's gonna be a little different. Yes, we're actually using a car window. We'll be spray tinting this window. As you can see, this window has tint on it, so we're gonna steam it and remove this tint uh, first. And then we're gonna come back in here, tape everything off, and um, spray tint this window. Um, I don't know if we're gonna aim for like a 5%, 20, 30. Uh, probably aim for something looking like this, a nice little 50% to 35% range, but we gotta remove this tin first. But yes, we are in fact using an actual car window. Full send on this one, boys. All right, guys, if you don't know how to remove tin, I think I've shown it in a couple of videos, but uh, steam. Steam is your friend. It helps the tin come off quite easy and almost glueless. So we're gonna do this real quick. Ow, that's hot. It's actually crazy because when I was looking for this setup, I was asking, I was trying to go to the jungle, trying to go to the junkyard and find one with a crank window and now I actually have one. I was, I was going to go to the junkyard and find a door. I was like, got one right here. <laughs> Because this isn't like regular tint, it's pretty much spray paint. We're gonna tape this off so you know you minimize overspray. I'm gonna get some uh, paper as well and cover up all the door panel and stuff and all everything that I can because otherwise it'll make a mess. But um, so just to start. She's standing right there. <laughs> what you should probably do is warm the window. Ooh, yeah. It is, because I steamed it. Feel it. All right, here goes nothing. This might just make it blurry. We might have to polish this. It's working. Get it on there heavier. That a, words of Tom going heavy. That'd go. Ooh. I mean, not gonna lie, when you put a heavy coat on it, you can still see through. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were causing it to be blurry by going light with it. He's gonna cut my voice off and he's gonna make it sound like he's coming from this conclusion himself. <laughs> you're there, you're like, you're almost at 5% here. I mean, I can still see. No, that's like a nice 20%. That's dark. You got a street, you got an open line here and here. Yeah, be, well, I, I be good at what you do. I don't want it to be already. Let Tom do it then. <laughs> Tom just painted black. <laughs> Yeah, and? Is I that know. what you want? Wow, it looks like shit from here. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, I'm waiting for it to dry, because if I spray it too heavy, it's gonna get all drippy. But from the outside, I mean... Oh, it looks kind of sweet for me, yeah. That's what I'm saying, from the outside, it doesn't look bad. Some idiot is totally gonna do this. Oh, absolutely. Oh, aren't you the idiot? Here we go. Oh, you're just gonna black it out? I'm just going to town now. It's like dark. I know, but what I'm saying is. Let it set. Yeah, let it set out for a little bit. I mean, it definitely looks all splotchy from some angles, oh. but. It definitely looks like it came out of an air can. Like. Oh yeah, for sure. Wait, from this angle, it looks like flawless. 
Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of light shining on it. Oh yeah, from that side. Yeah. Look, it literally looks like that looks like five. From inside here, it's not crazy like you like wavy. Like I don't know how to explain it. You could definitely see that it's like spray painted, but like that's not that bad. I still definitely would not. We'll just have to let it dry. <laughs> I said let it dry, give her another coat, but like from the outside. I mean, if you were to actually polish it up though, I mean on maybe the inside. I mean the only thing on the inside is it's like it's orange peely. I know. See? I mean, it doesn't look half bad. I mean, from a distance, and you close one eye and wink. I mean, see? Perfect. That looks like 10. It looks pretty good like that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it wouldn't be too bad. All right, guys, so to be honest, not hateful. I mean, obviously, it's not ideal. Uh, you do see, I mean, it's kind of orange peely like you would if you painted, you know, painted something. But like here's actual tint and then here's this tint. It's more of a bluish, uh, blackish kind of fade to it instead of like a charcoal gray. From the inside is kind of your problem. However, if you had an old like uh, old uh, beater car and you didn't want to pay $200 for tint, I mean, let her air out and get her done. <laughs> Probably not. But here's my thing. When you close the door like this, oh, yeah. it honestly looks like a normal tint job. One more layer, see if this uh, helps out any bit. It's probably, this is gonna take it from 20% to like five. From the outside, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, if you were just like tinting your back window so no one could see in, like you need to like keep stuff hidden back there, I wouldn't see why not. I wouldn't see why not, but if you were actually using this as like a tinting purpose, it's probably not the best move for you. However, it's not hateful for some, I mean, some people. I've seen some, look, just today, we saw some horrible tint. You know, coming here with bubbles. I mean, at least you got no bubbles, no creases, no cracks, none of that. So, I mean, I mean, if you want it to look good, probably not. But if you want it tinted, you could definitely do it. I mean, so here's kind of the look without all the tape. It just straight up looks tinted. And then back here, here is, I'm guessing this is about 35 or something on the back. I don't remember, but look at that. It honestly looks just really dark tinted. Not like the results you wanted if you wanted to, like, get windows like this. Um... <laughs> Obviously not. But what we're doing now is this truck's covered in salt. Between 2 and 7 a.m., it's supposed to snow. At 7 a.m., it's going to rain. And then by noon, it's gonna be about 45 degrees. I can always drive the Jetta tomorrow, but I'm tired of this truck sitting in salt and slush that I went up to Cleveland and it decided to snow there and not here. So um, we're actually gonna run, wash this truck off real quick, get her clean, and uh, I may park it for tomorrow and drive the Jetta because uh, I don't want salt sitting on this thing anymore, especially with the new flares on this truck. Uh, I don't want stuff sitting behind it, sitting around it, all that jazz. So we're gonna go take care of the salt on the truck. And pulling in here. Oh, as you can see guys, we are filthy. Extremely filthy, including this. So we're gonna get this taken care of today, no problem. It's all part about you know keeping your nice things clean and rust free. Um, I just love after washing it, the, just the change in color you get from getting all that crap off. This shot is probably awful right now with all the crap on the lens, but oh, it just looks so good, clean, and like just the color that's actually supposed to be pops again. Uh, we got some like dirt grease here, so let me wipe that off. Oh, guys, yeah, there's probably stuff. Yep. Looks like there's crap all over the lens, but I'm not gonna wash it with this dirty, dirty shirt. I'm freezing. Um, like I said, guys, gotta keep your stuff clean and uh, keep the rust down. But I honestly cannot wait till it's spraying to give this thing a full in, like a full detail interior, exterior, wheels, tires. Just give this thing what it's been asking for. Uh, I can't wait. But um, 
I'm freezing, so we're gonna head home now. Actually, we might need to stop and get fuel and freeze a little more. So, um, yeah, let's actually go do that now so we're full next time we get in. Back filling up, I did just fill up like Thursday, I think, but obviously I took the trip to Cleveland and back. Oh, I mean, we did 400 miles on this, 400 and some change on this tank, but in those days, I think we've gone down a couple cents. We're at 269 a gallon for all you who always uh, like to see, like compare prices and from this area to yours. But yeah, we're at 269. Um, I'm gonna hop out, throw this in real quick, and then <laughs> get back in here and stay warm. All right, well, we're spending money. She's uh, she's filling up here. I wanna just take this moment to say thank you guys all for your support. We are closing in on 55,000 subscribers, which is unreal. Uh, I just wanna say thank you for the support. And, um, <laughs> Whew, we got some big things coming. I'm, I mean, obviously you guys know we got the Daytona build coming. Um, wheels, lift kits, stuff like that. Like I said, it, it sucks. It's just a waiting game now because everything's custom made. You know, custom made to order. When that stuff comes, it will be crazy. Next thing is we've got like not only those big things coming, but uh, mods for this truck. Um, I don't know if you call them mods, but there's things coming for this truck. Stay tuned for that. And then on top of that, I did a couple things yesterday that, um, yeah, just say, yeah, it's going to get exciting and different real quick here, real, real quick. So it'll be a bring a variety, uh, you know, variety of content to the channel and it will be exciting. It'll be exciting. I'm excited. Um, and it's just a waiting game now, which sucks. It honestly sucks because once that stuff's here, whew, but uh, till then, it'll be a winning game. But uh, while we're filling up here, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, take care. I will see you guys in the next upload. But if you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.